last time on Fallout 4. That was a nut shot. Jeez, I should play Sniper Elite. The games everybody wants to play are not the games I'm interested in. Hi. Um, hey. Thanks for your help. Sure. Okay, now that I got a sweet rocking grenade launcher, let's put it on my sniper. I can't sell anything more to this guy. <clears throat> um, I should go to Bunker Hill to sell. I should. But I need to go to Good Neighbor, which is on the way. Perfect. Sounds like a freaking plan. Let me... Let's see. So if I remember correctly, you have to cross this bridge. This bridge? This bridge? Should be... This bridge down to here. This should be about here. Yup, uh, yup, uh, yup, uh, yup, yup, yup. Cool. Is there a way for me to just pass through buildings faster? By the way, the Fallout TV show made me only ending... Made only one ending correct. And that's the minimum ending. Obviously, you're free to play however you like, but the brother of the shield showing up in South California in the Pridwin without Elder Maxon makes only one ending correct. Oh. Well, it could... They don't have multiple Pridwins. It's just the one. Because I know they have multiple factions. They showed up for... So, see, I haven't watched the TV show. The only other thing I can think of is it's the New Vegas Brotherhood of Steel, maybe. But if they're saying they came straight from here, that would make sense. Now, the print one was made from the remains of the Enclave offshore oil rig. It's unique. Oh, it's the only one of its kind. Got it. <clears throat> so, but you don't... You don't kill the Brotherhood of Steel through the railroad? Because I know Bunker Hill is a whole... I'm kind of a fall-off nerd. My bad. No, it's all good. I am too. I like these games. Um... I mean, and it's easy to talk when you're over-encumbered. <laughs> Just holding forward. Um, it's it's nice to have somebody to discuss uh, an interest in. Because I, like, uh, I like Metal Gear Solid as well. But I can nerd down that rabbit hole as well. And I know you like uh, No Man's Sky as well. Because I was talking to you in chat about it. Um... But I have no idea anything about that game. That's why I was asking about everything. Um, and in this game, at least I can... I have a foot to stand on, but not with the TV show at all. My sister has seen some of it, and uh, I haven't seen any of it. I typically choose one streaming service and then stick with that. Until I'm like, oh, there's nothing to watch anymore. I'm always happy to answer any questions, see? And I'm okay with that, too. I'm an open book. I see there's no reason to hide anything. Maybe that's the military in me, but... That's... That's part of the training, I guess. NMS... Oh, No Man's Sky is a huge game. With a lot of moving parts. It's daunting for to the beginner. Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> this game's kind of big too. I was watching um, another streamer play for a while, 
and it was her first playthrough of the game, which is why I was like, oh, I'll jump in. She was already level 45. <laughs> like, why am I jumping into this, this game, this chat? But I mean, a lot of the play players, a lot of the people in her chat were probably had never played the game. So it was me and like one other person being like, have you done this? Have you done this? Did you know about this? And so, because uh, I like traveling around. I don't like the companions. I like the perks they give you though. But with this, I don't think I'm going to be. Um... Wow, I did not. I was close, but no cigar. Um. So far, I think I have Cogsworth perk, Cogsworth's worths perk, and um. Longfellows. I usually take Nick just for the dialogue. I like Nick. Yeah, and Piper. I mean, if you run with any of them, they get annoying after a while. Oh, uh, you're over encumbered. Let me carry stuff. Uh, why are we in the radiation? <laughs> you know, shit like that. Why are you wearing the red suit and not me? You know. Why'd you shoot me in the back of the head? <laughs> See? Shut up! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to get used to this. I love the Lone Wanderer perk, it's nice too. Yeah, I think at the beginning it used to work with dog meat. Um, if you had him as your partner, but. He's the only companion you can have. Um, yeah, and Cogsworth. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, and he doesn't give you a perk because there's no friendliness meter. You there, caravan or raider? Um, I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right, come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. She never said anything about grenades. <laughs> Only human companions will have count somehow Nick counted. I mean he's a synthetic human. But he's he's a robot, you're right. One thing I didn't like about Nick is he couldn't change his outfit. He always had his trench coat. <clears throat> Carla. Yeah. Hey, Carla. Hey there. Trading? Hope so. Sure. Let's take a look. Here's I put him in I power got... armor. Oh, I never even thought about that. Um, no, no, get away from me! I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> um, each level is twenty percent extra reload. Right, but if I have, I'm half tempted to join the railroad. I mean, this is a pretty decent reload speed already. It's not the speed of the reload that's the problem. I mean, I don't even use the lever action. Um, really, I'll just I'll fight with an empty bag. I'll use everything in my gun and then switch to a knife, so or my machete. Because, let's see, what was that? It's an agility. Yeah. That's a lot of levels. And I've already tried to get chemists so I can make berserk drugs. So. People gotta do something, Dad. When did you start to care about sense? Hey, guys. Hey, I don't care about you. your conversations. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. What's the railroad? The Freedom Fighters, willing to risk their lives for synths. And that means they fight the Institute. Only ones that do. What? You think that's noble or some bullshit? That just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. Hey, this is between the two of you. We got a good life here, and you'd throw it all away. 
All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sins? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. Synths are weapons built by the Institute. You don't know that. You see, boy? Now stop this nonsense. We got customers. Sure, Ellie said that. <laughs> Ellie said that because I knew that she would like it. Um, sure. I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I traced the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe, when suddenly I blurt out, Adam! He reveals himself! And they buy it! They pull me back from the ledge, and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. Took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks. Blue, that's, that's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? Hell yeah. <laughs> um, wow, she got the easy way of becoming a child of Adam. I had to drink sewer water. Yeah, how many levels is that until I would be able to get Reloader? Because everything I have is pretty balanced. I think except for Charisma. Four, five, four, six, three. <laughs> how many luck do I have? I have eight luck. Jesus. So I need five levels. No, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Five levels in order to get the first one. I don't. Does this game peak out at a level Load base? A little heavy there. I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. <clears throat> I'll take a look. Sure. Everything is sold as is. Here we go. Looking a little unsteady. Is there anything you can leave behind? Shut up, Piper. Don't talk about my weight like that. You know it's a thyroid problem, okay? Did I sell at the bar? I don't even remember. I just Blue, can right. I get a minute? Oh Something my God. I need to do. Where did she go? Hi, Piper Wright with Public Occurrences. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's up there. Okay, <clears throat> we'll let her talk to people. It's been suggested that Bunker Hill's policy of paying local raiders is short-sighted, leading to, at best. Are you fat shaming him, Piper? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeez, I'm only twelve. I'm only a thousand pounds over encumbered. Come on, 
When I came out of Far, Far Harbor, I was 5,000 pounds over a cumbered. Jeez, I've shy. lost 4,000 pounds of weight. We don't have much booze left. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I should get the jobs for everybody around here. But at least the drinks are wet. Oh, that is 19. Cool. I went and got this at level 2. Um, so everything was already level... Oh, only. <laughs> yeah, only a 1,000 pounds. Um, which was, uh, a battle. I think it took me three sessions in order to, because <laughs> I was recording from my PlayStation, um, like 15 minutes. Yep, that one's the best melee weapon in the game. I actually do like the, uh, Children of Adam Hammer, uh, Adam's Judgment from the Far Harbor DLC, but it just, uh. It's a little too slow compared to this. It's a machete, but it's a lot of metal to be missing. It should be faster than medium. Um, but yeah, when I left that, so that was what? This stupid place? Dunwich Boros? Um, at level 2. And I left at level 4. And I had to fight like raider wasters and shit like that at level two with like no ammo with like pipe rifles i like uh cedo's slugger from nuke world i always keep a bat just in case oh yeah and this one i like the poison because with mire lurks i mean oh I was running through the glowing sea with this machete and was one-shotting Mirelurk. I mean, uh, Death Claws in a rat suit, in my hazmat suit. Um, so I had, like, no armor, high risk, <laughs> high reward. I was using, um, I think I had a couple levels in this. Um, and then I was using Psycho Buff, Medex, and this. Uh, Yao Gui Roasts gives you plus 10 melee attack. No, nothing stands a chance. I was able to fight legendary rad scorpions, you there. everything. We need to have a conversation. You think we need to have a conversation? I don't. Sir. Yeah, the poison is handy. Yep. <clears throat> they actually have, I don't know if it's base game, they have a, uh, Recipe for Mirelurk skewers, and it gives you poison radiation or resistance. I had never even seen Mirelurk skewers until I was in Far Harbor. I don't know if that's where you get the recipe from or what, but I was like, I have never even thought of needing poison resistance ever in this game, because I just watch my health. If it gets too low, I try and heal myself before <laughs> before the poison gets me. I need to talk to this guy. He wants me to get a hat. I don't want to talk to this guy. I don't really want to do side missions anymore. Um, okay. So, I need to go to Good Neighbor. Uh, good Neighbor. Good. So, we need to cross the bridge. And it should be pretty close. I actually found on this bridge a dead legendary um, super mutant. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> a free legendary weapon. Hey. Hi. <clears throat> Perfect, just in time. You know, that reminds me, I need to change my armor. Nice, yeah. Usually the stuff I get is worthless, though, so. I mean, I just got one that was a, uh, an automatic, um, laser musket that had the, uh, shotgun, um, muzzle on it, or, yeah, muzzle break. Nice being on the move again. Uh, back it's home. so dumb for it to be... A muzzle, I mean a musket, to be automatic. Because it turns it into a... I don't like that. 
gunners. I'm going to try this out anyway. <laughs> that is very pointless. It is, unless you want to... What I was thinking of it as... Wow, I am too good with these explosives. Um, I thought of it as, as a uh, ghetto... Gatlin laser. Because you basically were just cranking it, and it would shoot one bullet at a time. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, if you want to... If you want to use a Gatlin laser, sure. I mean, it was a literal Gatlin laser. Hi, thanks for the food. Thank you. That was a hefty private. Thanks for taking care of all these blowflies. Blowflies are really annoying. For no reason. Where was that other body that was here? I go blow into the water? Balls. Mm. Is that them over there? <laughs> yep. Damn it. There goes loot. So yeah, I was thinking it was if you wanted a Gatlin laser and then have a auto musket. It's sure. That's the only way I can see it. But it does allow you to use the musket with this perk. Uh, commando. So, I mean... <clears throat> laser weapons are already um, armor-piercing. I mean, they have their own defense. So technically, they're already armor-piercing. Where, where am I going? Good neighbor should be... Okay, I'm just following this road. Why doesn't my mark show up? I mean, oh, there it is. Cool. I love the medium scope too. Except for when it's against a veteran. And it misses. <laughs> Oops. So we'll just rain down hell. Oops. <laughs> Do you remember the terrible physics at the launch of 76? Where the scorch would stretch and shoot off in tangents when you killed them? Body on the floor, 10 feet... Black spikes to the head. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember that. I think that's just kind of... I've had rad scorpions in this game disappear into the ground and then appear above my head about 20 feet and land right in front of me. So I think that's just a Bethesda thing. I've had problems looting... Anybody else? Yes, this is it for you. I think that's just kind of the uh, Bethesda special, right? Can you guys just die? Please? I'm just getting started. There's plenty of video on YouTube that was kind of funny, but it was also a little terrifying. Yeah, I mean, it was also one of those games where they just didn't finish it. It was... They released it early. Because people... They should have just taken their time with it. Just said, screw you. Because it was similar with No Man's Sky, right? Where they released it... Too early. They should have just taken their time. <coughs> Thank you. I like shooting corners. <clears throat> 
RPGs are the most accurate sniper rifle. Because I can shoot around a corner. Better in our hands anyway. Approach and yeah. identify yourself. Law abiding citizens oh, will not me, be huh? armed. Is that up there? Okay. Whatever, dude. Law abiding citizens will not be harmed. I used to be the biggest Bethesda fanboy, but Tom ha Todd Howard has been has killed any goodwill the company built with me. He is the face of every time they've screwed the players in recent years. Oh, just works. No, the fuck it doesn't. Todd. Game testers? Well, you see, and Ubisoft. Um, any of the YouTubers I would watch who, who were, um, would be asked to play games for Ubisoft, were told to leave out the game glitches. It's like, what? Why? And these are the guys who would like... Okay. Were, were guys who would do game glitches for fun in Grand Theft Auto and they're being asked not to do that. It's like, you guys really don't know your market. One, these guys love finding glitches. And two, if you find glitches in your game, maybe you should fix them. Yeah. I think the reason why this game still gets updated with the the shops and stuff, that's just wrong. Right, if Nexus Modder can fix your broken code, so, you, so can you... Or just, you know, I even saw, um, who was, um, Druidic Wolf was playing Fallout London. Bethesda knew that one was in the works, she was telling me. Um, and still dropped the DLC where the Pyromancer comes in. Uh, this All Hallows Eve, Speed of the Devil, Pyromaniac, Crucible, uh, and When Pigs Fly. Even though they knew that one was coming in, and it was a mod. And so they had to basically... Remod the game for Fallout London. Yeah, if I the wild suit to stop it. Oh, okay. Then partnered with the creators. Oh, okay. See, and then she was still still saying that uh, it's still super buggy. She she was thinking <clears throat> about uh, just stopping playing the game entirely until it's fixed. Um, of course it's buggy, yeah. But, the weapons in that are cool. Hey, I was seeing, got like a, a lot of World War Two era guns, which, which I didn't get, personally, but, it's like, no, no way. The Brits don't still use world, or gas, gas. Not gas. Um, like World War Two <laughs> flamethrowers, because that's what she was using. And it's like, but I mean, she was using a Mauser. That's cool. The only way Bethesda is getting any more of my money is with a Fallout New Vegas reboot, right? In the Fallout Four engine, correct. Absolutely, a hundred percent agree. I, I will say the same thing with Fallout Three, but definitely Fallout New Vegas. Because if they just, because they have it right now on the PlayStation, you can stream, you can stream the game. So you need internet connection to play New Vegas with their service. That's like, just sell the fucking game. You did on the PS3. Why can't you do it now? What was that? Uh, it's nothing. It's definitely not me taking your shit. What was that? Oh crap! There you are. No, no. Oh, that's Piper. Yes, Piper. There he is. Get him! Fuck him up! Shoot his legs out! <laughs> The power of explosives. I 
should heal. I should heal my radiation. Where is my mutton hound? My mutant. That's raw meat shit. Well, that's not going to heal my radiation. Oops. Night vision, Captain's Brew, sugar bombs. See, and there really no. Is there a use for sugar bombs in this game? I know there wasn't three. There's a Mylark. Skate of Spit. Sure. Fall resistance, I can deal, deal with that. Especially going up this. I don't have good enough internet to stream games. Right. And I don't I don't understand why you would want to stream a game anyway. <clears throat> I don't think there's any special use for sugar bombs, no, no. I don't even think you can make it into drugs in this game. Because you were able to make it into was it it wasn't jet fuel, was it? In Fallout 3. I knew it was like a really good drug, but it was difficult to find sugar bombs anyway. But I do like how there are like, um, this Pit Boy I have isn't, I mean, obviously isn't the original color. Um,. I don't think I don't remember what it was called, but yeah, I remember it was could make something, yeah. <clears throat> and it was like I remember where you got it too, because it was like your first um, exposure to Mirelurks. Um, because it was like near a pond of them, and it was like a vampire mission or some shit like that that I. Thought you got him near. Duelist. Spin me right round. I believe that's where it was. I didn't like the uh, ADS on, uh, on Fallout 3. It's like uh, CSGO. Yeah, I don't know the, the use in this game for him. I'll just have to look at chemistry benches, because I know you can't cook you can't cook with them. I think you'd just be able to make a bowl of sugar bombs, so <laughs> that would be great. But you can't get milk in this game. You should be able to, because they're Brahmin. I don't know if I'd want to drink Brahmin milk, though. That sounds kind of gross. Especially with how the, the udders look. In combat, the police model protectortron relies on strong melee attacks. Good I thought they had laser, right? You looking to get stoned or stabbed? Uh, why not both? <laughs> Crunchy or soft tacos? Why not both? Cool. Well, let's see what we can upgrade our weapons to. You wanted to make me a second printing press while you're at it. Um, yeah, there was this one quest. In 76. Where the ending you were supposed to do. Well, there were supposed to be two endings to that game. Quote, unquote. Just fight the Scorch Beast. Or end the Scorch Beast altogether. And one of them, you would have to go to a bunker to start. And then just head from bunker to bunker in the swamp. But every time I would play it, at some point I would get bored of the game. It was to the point where I was getting bored of the game anyway. <clears throat> And, uh, I would just come back to it later, and then it would be gone. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I can't finish this. Or, or I'd have to start it all over. 
I'm like, uh, how are you going to glitch out a game when I haven't finished out a mission? It was very annoying. I, have, I thought I had a lot more than that. Um, I've got a weapon here for every situation. <clears throat> Hunting, protection. I'll take a look, sure. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Cold murder, hot murder. I mean, shit, I'll shoot myself in the feet with this gun before I'll let a Malay guy Need attack me. Stay? Try Hotel Rexford. Hey, hey I'm light again. The barricades I, last night? I can move. I can, I can finally carry oh, more loot. Oh, yeah, we're going to go to Dr. Amari. Excuse me. See, and then this guy. This guy, I always think he's a drifter, right? But he looks very similar to the dude for, who works for the railroad. So anytime I see him in any town, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the dude watching me for the railroad. Every time. He's the guy. <clears throat> oh, Dr. Amare. You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Courser chip. A Courser chip? You fought a Courser? Oh, my God. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance of cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. Thanks, Doc. How do I find them? I can't contact them directly. They usually come to me when they have a synth that's escaped the Institute and wants new memories. But I do have a code phrase. Some kind of clue if I ever needed to find them on my own. Follow the Freedom Trail. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic. But hopefully you can figure things out as you go. Okay, let's get out of here. I usually mute up for those cutscenes. See? Well, there he is again. Fucker. Um, since I'm going to load this up on YouTube, it's just for... Now this will be interesting. I've never done this part without Nick. I wonder how it plays out. Yeah. See, and I'm using Piper because she's a... Uh, I don't have no handouts. She's a Tanuzi. You look just like Sammy to me. <laughs> sure as hell didn't act. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if I've ever done it with Piper either. In this town? They got another thing coming. The person I want to do what am I is Pallet and Dance. Because he is a synth. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, I'm surprised you wouldn't run around with Pallet and Dance. But maybe it's better to be in the Brotherhood than walk around with other people in the, in the huh? Brotherhood. Dance is okay, but it gets on my nerves, right? You've done way more cooking than me, and I usually don't mess with it. It's it's good experience. I mean, it's you get heals pretty easily. I mean, Iguana Soup is 95, right? If I had wood, I could make this squirrel into a uh, squirrel on a stick. I just don't have wood. Um, I do a lot of cooking because I like the added bonus to experience for two hours, whatever. Um... And it's just part of the game, you know. Some people take right away. I eat mutant uh, <laughs> hound chops. <laughs> to each their own, right? <clears throat> I do a lot of Kim work too. I do. I, I like exploring this game to the max. You get into trouble? It's your own damn. Because I know you can take medics. You can eat Yao Gui, um ribs, and that's two different um, stacks of damage resistance. Psycho buff, you can take um, beer and, or eat, I, probably whiskey yeah. would probably be better because that's plus two strength. Need something to take no, I don't need you. Yeah, I'm not going to taste you. Okay, um, and... 
Oh, yeah. Yaogwe right. roast, and that's all physical damage. I mean, exactly. There's one of the You're best back. things about this the game. Library. There isn't a white right way to play. Means. Right. <clears throat> Seeing that, um, the library computer said I earned some kind of credit. Oh right, I remember that. They used to pay kids to round up the old library books, since they had so much trouble with people returning them. Guess if you found more books, you'll get more credit. Buy whatever prizes the machines still have in them. Speaking of which, it sounds like you finished the job. Thanks for your help. That library deserves to be left in peace. What's up? Sweet Daisy. Means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. Yeah. Let's see what you got. I Everything's certainly guarantee to last. Until it doesn't. Until it doesn't. That's correct. <laughs> Still alive under all I don't even know what's it's four pounds, Piper. Stop making fun of me. All right. Seventy-five onion booze. Bourbon, profound cream, Gwinnett stout. Flat. Cool. You sticking around? You need to join a crew. I hear okay. Bobby No Nose is looking. Every weapon you see here could be the dip. Sure. Let's take a look. Let's sure, get let's you take a look. Doctor Bobby. Okay. I don't know where I left it. It's probably over near Suggs. 